Just whimper. be edited entirely Cute though. Look at you, you little bird. Oh, poor little baby. Sorry, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. Look at you. Yeah. Don't don't try to eat my face, please. Cool. Nice. We got him. They're gonna love their new house. Yeah, their their new place is so much nicer than this. Seriously. And there's a bunch more of your friends over there too. It's okay, babies. You're fine. I guess I'm officially fucking off. Yeah. Cheat games. Uh, oh, um, yeah, Hayes has done water here. Um, the thing about it is, uh, <clears throat> well, when you get the soft hose going up there, you have to hold it in like a very specific position. Otherwise, it'll kink and then the water pressure will cause it to like fly out of your hands and it's really dangerous. So like you have to like find a spot and like hold the spots where it wants to kink open and just like hold that fucking position the entire time or your fucking shit will fly out of your hands and possibly knock in the skull of your friends. Terrifying. Yeah. Uh, is there like a release thingy up at the top? Uh, you yeah. Open? You just climb up there and you saw where we reinforced so yeah. now you know where it's strong. You might want to pull that back like a few inches just to center it completely over the frame which it's empty, so you just really got to kind of just finagle it before you start filling it. Um, if Billy comes to fill it, then he probably has his whole own setup and will just know how to do it, and you won't have to worry about um, using the water pump that we have. There's my bucket of pocket change. <laughs> and fake money? No, Euro it's... Money? Uh, All right. Mexican and Canadian money, and then are these two dollar? All the two dollar bills actually real? Yeah, it's a bunch of them. Yeah, it's pretty neat. 
a few dollar coins. Fate and move. Ready, pup? Really hope I'm not forgetting anything. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. I'll stop at the post office. Hey, uh, this is Cornelius. I assume that this number is Billy. And if so, the library still does need water. Um, pretty bad. So um, if you want to stop by anytime today or, uh, or when you can, that would be great. We just need some, uh, we just need some canal water. We don't need potable water. Maybe you think I come and go with your commitment. But you don't need to say I stopped off at a friend's property near Joshua Tree where the tank, my school bus, is currently residing until I get back to it. So uh, it's loaded up with all of my best homestead gear. I call it Operation Homestead Seed. Just gotta finish my coffee. And then it's time to hit the road. Not in the bus. In my little car, King Ratchet. So right now we're ascending into, I mean, I say it's a pretty neat campground knowing nothing about it other than that it's down a cool trail. So I guess, um, yeah, and the rate's just 10 bucks a night. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. Why the fuck not I have a shitter and be able to get fucked up in peace without having to worry about getting rousted.
daylight and battery fast but I had to pull over and stop to check this shit out you know I'm a sucker for bandos I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be in here but fuck some shorts can't really see much of what's in here. Must have used to be a really nice little deck to overlook the river. Satan, come here. Yeah, these appliances look, well, I mean, they look plenty old, but not like, not like ancient. <clears throat> Shower anyone? Another shower. A steep step. <clears throat> I can't see what's up there right now, so if there's something creepy, then uh, I guess I'll see it later. Hey, pup. All right, let's get back on the road, Satan. That was fun, huh? Well, I think I'm finally far enough up the road that I feel like I can relax for a little bit. Um, I've found some dispersed camping up here in... Uh, What's this mountain pass? Well, anyway, it's a nice spot. And I'm overlooking this river here and there's a nice hiking trail just over that way. I just finished cooking up breakfast. I'm finishing some of my coffee here. And 
The only really important thing for me to do today is to take a walk down to the river there and filter some more water. Had a pretty good sleep last night. It, it did get pretty chilly. Uh, when I was in town, I was told that it was going to get to like 32 degrees last night and I could believe that. I did have to bust out my emergency blanket um, and kind of line my sleeping bag with that so that, yeah, so that I didn't get too cold in the night. When I laid down I could feel the cold kind of seeping in pretty quickly and uh, I mean worst case scenario I can always climb in the car and turn on the heat or whatever so that's a nice little fail safe but that's not necessary here. I mean, I've slept out with this same gear in like 20 degrees, so I, it'll be fine. It is uh, pretty chilly. If you look over here, you can see there's still snow up on that mountain. Actually, there's snow up on this hill over here. Uh, you can't see it from here, but yeah, it's pretty chilly. But good. And I was pretty gross and dirty, so. All right, back to filtering water. It does take a minute. I really should clean out my, um, my filter supposed to be camping out here on this BLM land tonight and I followed <laughs> follow the directions Satan uh-uh but it brought me to this place where there's a bunch of wild horses and there's absolutely like no camping here at all I don't know if it was just somebody's idea of a joke to put it on that app but check us out hey buddy I don't know there's not even any like anywhere to pitch a tent it's all super rocky it's full of horse shit i feel like i'm in somebody's fucking pasture oh satan don't bark at the horse look oh, oh, oh. Uh, i don't have a fucking i don't have a way to roll up this window and i don't want to get bit hey buddy i'm not trying to hurt you I don't have any food either. So I'm gonna go now. Yeah, I can't fucking camp here. Sorry, buddy. No food for you. Barely have enough food for me. Yeah, they're all over. All over the hill there. They're, um, they're in the back alley here. I thought there was something weird about driving in here because I drove in through this, like, super upscale like upper middle class neighborhood and thought that was pretty strange that there would be like just a dirt lot to camp out here i did see a dirt lot lot back that way that where there was a rv parked so i think that's probably my best bet because it's getting dark fast and you know i i worked on my tail lights today i replaced um one of my brake lights and I replaced a fuse for my tail lights. Unfortunately, I don't know. I don't think it worked. I think that it might be a wiring issue, but I guess I'll have to check. I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. Well, I'm not going to lie. That kind of sucked. Um, I went to that first BLM spot. Obviously it was no good. Um, and then I was like, oh shit, it's getting dark really fast. Um, I'll just look up campgrounds and pay, you know, whatever I need to pay to camp somewhere for the night. I got, you know, I don't have a lot um, of cash and I don't have a bank card yet. Um, I have to go and pick it up from my friend's house later this week. But, um, so I was like, okay, I'll just go to a fucking KOA. Sorry about the bread crinkling. I have not eaten all day because I've been trying to find a fucking spot to park. Um, 
and it turned out to be uh, the KOA at Boomtown, which at first I was really excited because I was like, oh damn, I can pay at my campsite and then I can go and spend like $10 on slots or some shit. And that'll be real fun. And you know, have a couple smokes, drink a couple drinks, play some penny slots for an hour or two. And you know, I was, I was really stoked. And then I pull into the KOA and it's an RV KOA only. And all the spots for one night were like 55 bucks to like 70 bucks, depending on whatever. Cause it was all like RV stuff, which I mean, at, at that price, I might as well just get a Motel 6, you know? So anyway, you know, I'm like, fuck that. Um, so I go on online and look up, oh yes, this is going to make it all better. I got some ghee here. Fuck yeah. Treat yourself. Say you in a little bit. Oh, that's good shit. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I quick looked up another couple uh, BLM spots and this was the closest one that was accessible without a four-wheel drive vehicle and you know I'm, I'm hoping to everything that I believe in that it's a good sight because um, my tail lights are out it's getting dark so fast and I'm just just a driving target for law enforcement after dark um, you know, for good reason. It's fucking dangerous. But, um, so I found a spot. It's, it's a good spot. It's weird. Um, it's definitely a weird fucking spot. It's pretty nice, Satan. Huh. It's nice up here. I wasn't expecting that, uh, when we pulled into or through another, um, like, middle class suburban neighborhood I was like uh it's gonna be bad directions again and this won't be a good spot we're totally fucked I'm gonna have to sleep in the car at Walmart or some shit yeah it sure enough the the road led up here which I mean I didn't expect it but this is legit BLM land and we're like I can see Reno right there here's where I'm at there's Reno right over there. Actually, that's all Reno. There's a lot of um, a lot of burrs on the ground here, so I don't want to set my tent or my sleeping bag down on it. But they're not. They're not that bad. They're not like Sonoran desert birds, that's for sure. They're kind of soft almost. Maybe my foot is just really hard. Yeah, I got a couple sticking out. They're not so bad. Get all your stuff and put it in the sack. Stuff it all down and then head back to town. Not before you break down your tent and pack it in your trunk. It's stuff sack, stuff it all down, put it in the back. Shorts has a pillowcase, the wine bag pillow. It makes a good pillow. This is about how inflated I like it. You can inflate it less or more, and it can still have wine in it. Or if you had to, you could use it as the emergency water bladder. And your pup? <gasps> you ready? Oh my goodness. Let's go. I gotta poop real bad.
had to pull over to check this out. I don't know what the fuck this is, but obviously it hasn't been used in a while. Huh. You are here, no deliveries. Deliveries here, look at this. No dial tone. little bush. <laughs> no deliveries here. Go to warehouse. All right. Nothing too wild. So I found uh, what appears to be a defunct campground. It's completely empty. And it's um, down some pretty obscure logging roads. There's like campsites marked and everything like your typical national forest. Come on. But uh nobody's here. So I'm I'm looking at the ground here and there's some type of tracks here but it this hasn't been occupied in a long time these look like they've been rained on a few times yeah it's just so quiet and desolate and but, I mean, it's got, hold on. No, I'm tripping. I thought I heard some type of voice or something, but. No, just tripping. It's just so quiet. Oh, and there's, I see a sign for water. Maybe there's a water spigot over here. Let's take a look. See, these bathrooms, I mean, they look recently kept up as far as I can tell so far. Hopefully I don't find anything dead in there. Well, there's a little toilet paper. That's nice. Might have to use that pretty soon. That one's locked. Um, there was a couple of interesting signs before I turned into the campground that seemed to indicate um, points of interest, uh, like a lake and something else I can't remember. But I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna scope those out because I think that, um, I think this may be a ghost town sort of area. Um, I could be wrong. I could be getting a little excited and jumping the gun here, but. Um, the initial directions had me, um, tried to get me to turn into a field and it kept trying to get me to turn into fields and there was absolutely no roads there. There's no amenities here, but, um, there's, uh, still on, on Google maps, at least there's still markings for roads that, um, I assume existed at one point that don't anymore um and, and like it looks to be some type of 
logging town infrastructure that is now defunct. And I don't know, maybe I'll find some cool bandos. Or maybe I'd just score big on a band on a bando campground and you know, I mean I'll take that win for sure. There's this old pump here. Doesn't look like it's been used in a really long time. Um it was made in Evansville, Wisconsin. Let's see if it's uh if it still works. Hmm. Nope. That would have been too good. All right. Well, I live here now. This is my new house. Shit, this is fucking awesome. Load up. Let's go explore. Let's go explore. Yep, yep. We got the highway up there. This is all G. It is a desolate highway, um, but I have seen since driving down it a handful, a handful of other cars. So if I did end up getting in a hairy situation, it's not like nobody would be passing by. Oh, see, yeah, there's a car now. Nice. Okay. Now, I wonder where this cone lake is. Whoops. Maybe I took the wrong turn. Oh my god, come on. I should have looked at these signs a little bit more carefully when I passed by the first time. Bogard Campground 1. Highway 44. Satan, get the fuck over here. That's two miles. 32N22. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh. It says the same damn thing. Could have swore to God I saw another sign on the way in. I knew it. Cone Lake, 7 miles. Silver Lake, 8 miles. And Bogard Work Center, 2 miles. Doesn't say anything about this. I think that road probably leads back around to the highway. But this is... This is compelling. I don't know if I want to drive seven miles down this shit, but uh, let me just take a look at the map. I found that my car was not going into gear all of a sudden. Um, and then I turned it off and uh, now it won't start. Fortunately, the battery seems strong still and it's turning. Um, I'm hoping it's just that it's low on oil. My dipstick is telling me that I have oil in it, um, but put some, I'm going to add some here and hope to fuck that my car starts. I don't want to turn the engine too many times and then the battery will be dead and then I'll have even more of an issue. Let me start. I don't want to fucking walk all the way back right now. Alright, I got the car moving a little bit and uh, gave it a little push down the road here. <laughs> So now we're just rolling on gravity. This is uh, this is new. I don't really want to slow down and lose my momentum here. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna keep it rolling. Woo wee! This is fucking wild, bro. Oh yeah, power brakes. That's right. Okay. This is fucking absolutely wild. Woo! Keep rolling, King Ratchet. We got this. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. You got this. Yeah, there we go. And I can always get out and push a little bit more if need be. Whew. These are 
rough roads um, is, yeah, <clears throat> this is not how I expected my day to go. Good fucking workout. Oh. So, the road goes back uphill after this. This is going to be where I'm going to end up having the rest here. <sighs> Guess that's it for me. Now we wait. I'm so bad at waiting. Let's see if I got reception miraculously here. Oops. Nope. Absolutely no reception. Cool. I locked out and the one person that's probably driven down this road in a pretty long time drove past me in a neat old truck and uh, flagged him down and told him what my situation was and he said that he's heading out into the woods to look for firewood and I asked him if uh, if I'm still here on his way back if he would be willing to drag me to the rest stop so I can try and address this situation where I'm not completely off the main road so um, and I of course am prepared with some rope here so pretty much I'm just gonna sit here smoke a couple drags of this cigarette and I don't know maybe play some guitar or something Let's try. <laughs> Let's hope he comes back, but if he doesn't, I'll just walk my ass back to the highway with my backpack. <laughs> I'm 